And this is Jared Dees from TheReligionTeacher.com. Light of the world is a phrase we hear a couple of times in the Gospels. One, in the Gospel of John, Jesus uses it to refer to himself. But in the Gospel of Matthew, he's talking about disciples. So to us, he says, you are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. People do not, do not light a lamp and put it under a bushel basket. Rather, they put it on a lampstand and it gives light to all of the house. So there's a couple of ways to interpret this in our lives today, right? First, Jesus is the light of the world. He gives light to our world. But we also give light in the world through the way that we live. So what can we do? Well, first, we can look to Jesus. He's the light. So he can give us some ways of living and inspiration on how we can live our lives as well. Second, what can we do? Good deeds. Now, what Jesus says specifically here is that in the same way, light, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. So they see our good deeds, our good works, and as a result, they give glory to God. They give glory to the Father. So they are praising not you for your good works, but clearly what you're doing is inspired by your faith in God. So they give glory to God instead of to us. Now that's what it means to be the light of the world. Not so much that we are doing great things that are um, respectable and praiseworthy, but that our good deeds come from a place of humble love of God and love of neighbor. So that when they see the good things that we're doing, it inspires them to give glory to God, not to us. Go make disciples. God bless.